one of football's most controversial thinkers who used star maps of the September night sky to predict two of the last 17 grand finalists and compiled a list of winning Tats Lotto numbers to try and unravel likely selections at the national draft, believes he has uncovered the secret to Hawthorne's success this year. After years of research, I finally worked it out. It's the tattoos. They reveal Hawthorne's new game plan. You see the man leaping? That's the arm of Lance Franklin. That's a signal to jump. Franklin with a hurdle! When he jumps, his arms go out, just like on the tattoo. This is a tattoo on Jordan Lewis. You see the bird lying flat on its back with its wings stretched out? Now watch this. I'm not quite sure why that would be part of the plan, but the evidence is undeniable. Football is a complicated game these days. Every player needs a game plan written down somewhere. You see how the lines here cross over and change direction? Rioli a little one-two and gets through. Marvellous stuff. It's actually like a set of steps, a bit like dance steps. Rioli seems to have a lot of the game plan on his body alone. Look at this. And instructions for an overhead mark. Oh! Wow! And that's your zero! And it's not just Hawthorne that uses this method. He has sued Luke Hodge, intercepting an opposition player after he's been able to decipher his tattoo. I've got to go now. I've got to go that extra mile. Hawthorne's playing into state. And besides, I still haven't deciphered that tattoo on Ruffett's ankle. Have a pleasant trip, Mr. Merman.